Okay, so, the first thing we want to do to correct the vertical alignment in this photo is to see if Photoshop can do the work for us. Photoshop may be able to correct the problem using the lens correction function under filter. Looks like Photoshop has done it again. Everything looks straight as an arrow. Whenever lens correction is used, it will turn the image into a layer. The layer must be flattened before saving as a JPEG. Then save. Now on to the next one. Filter. Lens correction. Photoshop displays profiles that match the camera and lens used to create the image. Photoshop also automatically selects a matching sub-profile for the selected lens based on focal length, f-stop and focus distance. You may want to pull a guide out just to check Photoshop's work. I give them an A-plus on this vertical alignment job. Thanks Photoshop. Moving on. This photo has quite a bit of lens distortion. You can see the bowing of the photo at the edges. Let's see if we can do it manually instead of using Photoshop's lens correction function. For this photo, I will just use the skew function within transform. This way I will be able to pull the corner until the cabinets line up with the vertical guide that I have pulled out from the ruler. Looks like the vertical lines of the island cabinets are good. Much better. What a great kitchen. It would be even better if it was vertically aligned. Pull your guides out of the vertical ruler. I would like for the cabinets at the left to be straight and also for the wall on the right. Let's see if Photoshop can just fix this for us so that we can sit back and drink tea. Um, no. Bad Photoshop. Bad. You can adjust the grid inside of the lens correction function. We definitely want the edge of the island to be vertical. Now as you can see, Photoshop is a bum and could not align the cabinets on the left for us. No tea break for you. We will have to do this the old fashioned way with skew transform. I don't really like the little sliver of wall on the left, so I will just hold the shift key while in transform and pull the top right corner up a bit. This little blob that controls the window also bothers my OCD so I will just drag a bit further to cut that off as well. Now for the before and after. I'm a genius. That's a keeper. Wait a minute. What's that? Oh no you didn't. Let's pull out the stamp tool and get rid of that. My OCD cannot handle this right now. Bye bye weird thing in the corner. Now let's just give the floor a good scrubbing. And clean up the baseboard. Much better. I will be able to sleep tonight. Like I said before, I am a genius. Time to save and move on to the next photo. Oh. Yellow. Wow. Okay. That gave me a headache. Now back to the fabulous kitchen. Get back to work. Photoshop. Try to correct our lens issues and make everything vertically perfect. That looks pretty damn good. Photoshop. You are my friend again. Flatten the image and save. Now this one seems pretty straight all on its own. Check the left side. Check the right side. Looks incredible man. All good in the hood. Next. This one has some bowing at the edges that you can easily see on the sides of both doors. We will give Photoshop one more chance to do its job correctly before we send it to bed without dinner. The alignment gods are shining down upon Photoshop and it can have dinner tonight. It looks much better. Let's save and move on. No. What's all that crap back there? Come on man. No one can clean up after themselves these days. Time to try and fix this with the stamp tool. While I'm working. Do you want to hear a joke? 
The time traveler was still hungry after his last bite, so he went back four seconds. Ha 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 ha. Do you get it? He went back four seconds, like four, like the number four. Thump thump thump, is this thing on? Okay anyway, so I've cleaned up that mess as best I could, let's take a look at the before and after. Before. After. Before. After. Before. After. Before. After. Before. After. Before. After. Bye bye trash heap. I'll go ahead and save that. I just love this house. With all those ovens, that kitchen would be perfect for cooking several tombstone frozen pizzas all at the same time. Okay, back to work. Lens correction time. Photoshop is not quite getting the memo that I want the fireplace to be straight. It's angled inward towards to the top and that must be fixed at once. I guess I will have to do it myself. Here come the guides and the skew transform. Boop. Now that I've skewed it to the left a bit, let's make sure everything in the kitchen is okay. It is just oh so slightly off so we will pull the right side over as well to fix that. It would be a hell of a lot easier if Photoshop would just do this for us. You're on thin ice with me, Adobe. Moving right along. Sure is cold outside. Why isn't this fireplace lit? Let's warm this place up with some vertical guidelines. That's straight. That's straight. OMG that's straight. I think we've just witnessed a miracle here folks.